Good morning, folks. We've got Can't Miss Articles today. We'll go over something interesting about yesterday's top story, and we're starting with our star, where things are quieter than expected. There's been only one more M-Class flare event since yesterday morning. The far side southern eruptions continue, and the big northern sunspots are experiencing a serious earth-facing quiet spell. They did produce the M-Class flare you see here. It did not produce a CME, however. Sunspot group trudging across the earth-facing heliographic longitudes has been very uneventful so far. Even the level of morphing in the sunspot umbra is reduced. Here's hoping she stays quiet still as she enters the direct earth-facing positions tonight. Next stop is at Seismicity, where it may be less powerful than most of the shakes we share, but at northern Greenland, this polar quake is quite the rarity. If any of you have recently emerged from beneath the rock, they really want to play God in the sky, and it's a terrible idea. Not only for all of the weather and chemical poison rationales that have been shared over the last several years, but apparently it's also going to spike malaria. Just outstanding work aimed at Captain Chemtrail and the Sultans of Shillery from the land of Propagandia. In short, geoengineering bad. This is cool. Pre-RNA and sugar components spectroscopically spotted in the interstellar medium of the galaxy. The pieces are out there. Excellent research pathway here on dust charging in the global electric circuit, as forced by ground level enhancements, which are charged particle surges from the sun that instantly work all the way down to the surface. Indeed, it's fast and induction doesn't care how much atmosphere is above your head, it's surging right down to the conductor. Iron's a conductor, and supposedly a huge indicator of the nova events that have gone off around us. Turns out, there wasn't as much of it around long ago as they thought, which means there have been many more recent nearby nova than they realize. Wink. That'll take us back to yesterday's top story. Still intellectually reeling over their finally saying micro-nova exist, and if they work here, they work for the other accumulation mechanisms, including the one applicable to the sun. One of our biggest points, one called crazy for years, broke down the door this week, and down at the bottom, they are measuring the eruption in Giza pyramid weight, fitting since they might have been the ones who saw the last solar micronova. And sticking with the sun for our top story, it really wasn't questioned how influential the sun and volcanoes were in triggering the Little Ice Age, but the impact on the ocean currents, the ice mass, and the Atlantic transport were uncertain. What do you know? The exact same thing that led into the Little Ice Age is what's happening now, and it was caused by the sun then too. You can't melt the polar ice unless you want to chill the entire planet. Folks, the pre-orders are shipping out to us. We need to receive, package, print, organize, and ship out to you. Not to mention I've got to sign a ton of them. My hands are going to hurt. But we are also restocking the next end of the world. It will be here next week. And if you wanted to add it onto your pre-order, so you didn't have to pay extra shipping for a separate order, but you couldn't because we were sold out, please email our fearless leader, Catherine cat at observatoryproject.com and that needs to be done before april 27th we greatly appreciate your support subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow right here but right now it's 5 45 a.m in the new valley of the sun eyes open no fear be safe everyone